Hey, what's up you guys? Today we'll be learning how to resize images with URL in PHP. And let's get started by discussing the URL structure or the URL pattern that we're going to follow in this tutorial. Now let's have a look at the URL pattern and it will be something like this. It's a simple get URL with three different variables in it. And our first variable is image and it is the URL of the image which we are going to resize and the second variable is worth the width of the image that we will scale down the original image and the third one is height it's for the same purpose with resizing the original image and that's it we have discussed the URL pattern now let's get started and first of all what all we need to do is, is to short the URL according to the type of image that we are going to assess as PHP GD library doesn't support a combined function for creating a resource image from a pre-existing image for all extension that's why we're gonna short it and then we'll create an image and that's why we're gonna use an F statement and so let's get started and here we're using str pause function for a simple validation you can go for even complex validations as much as you like just to ensure the higher compat compatibility and we're going for we're going to give first parameter that is get image which is the URL of the image that we're going to process and secondly dot png that's the extension of the image that we will process and or we will create a resource image of and the second condition applies on the jpeg format we are same going to use the stri pos function with get image as a haystack and middle will be dot jpg as jpg images are available in two formats that is jpeg and jpg that's why we need two validation here we are using or or you can just put an array in the needles it's all up to you and finally we're gonna add an else block for the gif and I don't like gifs and then we'll create the resource images finally we're gonna add the else block and then we'll move to the real coding In else block, we are not specifying anything because finally that will be a GIF image because this is the third most common type that we have left. And now we'll assign the resource image to dollar $ing variable. And as we are creating image using of a PNG image file, that's why we will use cre image create from PNG function. That will require the URL of the image that the user has given us and equals to image create from png and finally we're going to add the url of the image get underscore dollar underscore get and finally image and we're going to repeat the same thing in three of the blocks and here we'll place it and we'll change the function from create image from png to create image from jpeg and finally create image from gif gif and we've completed our first part now we have created resource images from three of the most common file types that user can provide us. You can even extend it as much as you want, as much the PHP GD supports it. And now we're gonna output the image just to ensure that we are working hard. Yeah, we're gonna output. It's all up to you. You can also save it locally. We're just outputting it because. So we're gonna use header, it's an optional part header content type and we'll output the image in jpeg format that's why image slash jpeg and finally image jpeg 
and we'll provide the resource image as a parameter here and now we are done our one part is complete and now we'll output the image just to check out if it's working or not it's so simple there's nothing big coding in it let's reload and give it a try and then we'll resize the image and output it okay as you can see we have did it and it's the image of our last tutorial yeah and now we're gonna resize the image as you can see we have already got the XY size of the image using width and height from the get request so we will and here we'll create a new variable that is image resized and we will scale the image using image scale function it's so simple um, image scale function accepts three parameters and number one is the resource image that we want to scale that is the other image over here and the second parameter is the width of the image X axis always comes first and the third parameter absolutely will gonna be the height of the image so let's type them to continue and width and the second one will, the third one will be the height as you can see it is so easy after just typing the height we have covered the whole 90 percent of the tutorial and now with all we need to do is, is to change the output variable of the image so that is image we're gonna rename it to image resized and then we have to clean the junk yes the junk that we have left in the temporary storage and for that we'll use image destroy function that will destroy the all hold the space located in the memory for those resource images so image destroy ing and the second one function will be image destroy the other image that is image resized now we have freed up the memory and now let's check out our code it was so beautiful. Um, as you can see, we have resized the image. Now let's try by changing the parameters. Like we'll change the value. And okay, as you can see, we have smoothly did it. You can also try by adding some image processing modes that will also help you let's write them and give it a try and first we'll be using image by cubic that is ing underscore by cubic i would give you leave it empty because it could create a lot of mess as you can see in the image by cubic fixed it will just make it even better now let's reload and give it a try as you can see we have fixed the image and it was all done by by cubic fixed you can also try by linear and by linear fixed it's all up to you but I would recommend you to leave it empty and that's it for this video and you can also try by adding a bit of adjects HTML CSS to make it even more functional and beautiful that's it for this video we hope you liked it make sure to subscribe us for more and don't forget to follow us on google plus and facebook but before that join our facebook group where because we're going to shout all your problems out links in the description below and also don't forget by wa uh, to watch our, her previous video that was on file upload and php and
We hope you liked it and finally goodbye and see you next week.